Welcome to the Network Protocol Specialists Network Troubleshooting Video Series. In this video on using open source tools to troubleshoot your network, we're going to be looking at how we can use the Smoke Ping application and Cacti together to troubleshoot problems on our network. In this example, we will combine Smoke Ping and Cacti to show how we can use both tools to drill into a problem. Neither one by itself can give us all the answers, but by using them together, we can get a good picture of what's going on. Here we're looking at a graph from the SmokePing application. SmokePing is an open source tool that we can use to send out various pings across our network. What it will do is it will send 20 pings every five minutes and then graph the response time of each one of these pings out on our graph that we see right here. Now in this case, we see that looking at our 30-hour view, there's a spike in the ping response times. What we want to know, is this an internet problem, a local problem, or a remote problem? Now just looking at smoke ping, we can't tell. So what we've got to do is drill in, find out what time frame exactly this occurred at, and then do some investigation to find out where this problem is originating. We can drill into the smoke ping application by specifying a time range. Now in this case we've specified the time range between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. on April 5th. Now what we find is that this time range between 7 and 10 a.m. is where we're seeing the longest ping times. So now that we know where this is occurring, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Cacti, which is our utilization graphing tool, and take a look at both our local and our remote ends of this connection and see if anything's occurring on those ends that might cause these ping times to go up. Now here we've gone into our local router and we've taken a look at what our utilization is. Now we see that for our 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. time frame, there's not much going on. We're hitting a peak right here of 100 kilobits per second, which really isn't that much on this circuit. And so our estimation would be that this particular end of the connection isn't causing our ping response times to go up. So here is the remote end of the same connection. And what we can see is that we are seeing a fair amount of utilization on this end, and most of that is outbound traffic. Looking at the bottom of our graph, we can see that our inbound is green and our outbound is blue. Now what this does is it shows us around the same time frames that we're seeing our spike in ping times, we're also seeing quite a bit of outbound utilization on this link. This could explain the long ping times. And it should be nice to know who's using up all the bandwidth. So in future sessions, we'll go in and take a look at some of the tools that are available on the market to figure out who's using the bandwidth and when they're using it. This way we can go back and find, is this a valid use of this connection, or do we have somebody sending traffic across this link that's impeding our flow, but not really for a business purpose. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video segment on how to use smoke ping and cacti to troubleshoot network problems. If you'd like to see more about what network protocol specialists can do for you, please visit our website at www.nps-llc.com or give us a call at area code 425-433-0777. Thank you.